Hey everybody, this is a continuation of my magnetic spring piston concept that has received so much uh, negative comments. But uh, let's follow through. Okay, what I have here are two sets of magnets with a spring in between. These are an attraction. Put them in this shaker flashlight tube. Now, push them together. There's a point where the magnets pull together in attraction. It's right about, you'll hear it. There. When the spring all comes together, it becomes all one magnet, and it pulls it together. I have it set up so it repels, or pushes off, not repels, but springs back and as soon as it goes down. Uh, which is kind of tricky to do. Took a lot of experimentation. Uh, the idea is to have the spring slightly stronger than the magnets. So what good is this? Okay, well, imagine you had a magnetic wheel. You went around, say, 90%, and it had a lot of torque behind it. At the point where it was just before it's about to stop, it pushes this down, such as in a radial engine or a boxer design. It pushes this down. It hesitates. It moves to the strongest magnet. It's about to stop. At the point where it's about to stop, you can put one of these here. And just as it's about to stop, it would pull this piston rod back up just slightly and initiate the spring release. In theory, it may just have enough energy to continue on and start the loop again. That's a concept of this idea. That's what that whole video was all about. So I've put this together to show you. I've actually used one of these. This is a shaker flashlight. Uh, I used one of these to put in a shaker flashlight. And what I was doing was I was pumping it like this, like a syringe. And uh, instead of having to shake it up and down like that. So that way it could go a lot faster and it would look a little better in, from a distance. So anyways... Uh, oh yeah, and I put a I put a jewel thief in that flashlight, and I just I just kept pumping it and pumping it and pumping, it, and the jewel thief was just uh, the toroid was whistling away. I I regret not videotaping it, but I uh, I destroyed the transistor by putting too much uh, too many pumps into it too fast. Okay, so I got another idea I'm going to show you that pertains to this, and that's going to be in the next video. Stay tuned.